Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and today I'm trying to get that guy to fulfill his promise to MC Toon and delete his channel. This should be fun. So to put things simply, that guy thinks that he understands how magnets work. He's wrong, but he thinks that he's right. And when flat earthers think they know how magnetism works, they make a lot of stupid claims like, oh, a compass wouldn't work on a globe. So MC Toon decided to go and tell that guy that he was wrong. And that guy said that if MC Toon could demonstrate that a compass would work on a globe, that he would delete his channel. So MC Toon decided to show that guy that he was wrong. And that guy made a few responses and his channel still exists. Oh, and he also blocked MC Toon. But one interesting thing to note is that he hasn't uploaded anything new in two weeks. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at that guy's points. This moron MC Toon that I had to finally block because of his insufferable fucking ignorance. Look at this. We do not use Magnetic South to navigate. That's He's quoting me. Yes, we do not use Magnetic South to navigate. Ever. This is true, he says, in that we also don't use magnetic north. We use both north and south. What a fucking moron. What a fucking moron. Lie. That's a straight up lie. So I'm wondering, what does the rest of that comment say? Because you're showing a little tiny bit of a comment and using it to support your argument, even though there's a lot more to that comment, clearly and you're not showing it. Isn't that disingenuous? But I'm gonna take a stab at what I think MC Toon was getting at. We use Magnetic North and Magnetic South to establish bearings. It doesn't tell us where we are, it just tells us the direction of North. So if I was telling you how to get to a particular supermarket, and I said, oh, just go North, you'll be fine, right? It may work for where I am, but if someone is two kilometers east of me and they go north, they're never going to find that supermarket. So that's what I think MC Toon was getting at. But, you know, that guy with his big brained intellect obviously knew that the important part of the comment was that first part of the comment. Clearly. Here's what we do use. Magnetic north. See how your compass shows it as a single point of attraction in the northern hemisphere? Watch. He'll prove it. Physically, right in front of you. Undeniable, physical, scientific demonstration. See, he's circling it. It's staying fixed on a single point of magnetic attraction, which makes south every direction away from this single point of magnetic attraction you call magnetic north, the North Pole. See there? So what that guy said right there is objectively wrong. Compasses don't point directly at the North Pole. And I can prove it. Because this is an egg. Fuck wrong video. This is a magnet. Got it this time. So here is our magnet. And let's bring the compass in. Right. Compass points at the south side of the magnet. And here we have the compass pointing at the north side of the magnet. Some people that know about magnetism may say it's actually not pointing at the north and south side of the magnet. It is because this compass is back to front. All right. So that guy's claim is that, you know, the magnets point at a particular point, which in this case would be somewhere around here, I'm guessing. If we trace the line out, it would be somewhere around here. Or is it here? If we trace this line out, it might be here. Or... Is it over here? Is it all the way over here? Seems to not be pointing to a particular point in this demonstration. So I'm not really sure what I can add to this. It's clearly following the path of least resistance. Wasn't even talking about that flat earth Aussie Jesus. As I was saying, it's clearly just following the path of the magnetic field. Simple. And the fact that it's so simple just goes to show how wrong that guy is. How does a compass work in the Southern Hemisphere? No, in the Southern Hemisphere, the same red painted end of the compass will still point to magnetic north pole. Pole. The magnetic north pole. And then comes the bullshit. Two, par two bar magnets 
and then this nonsense, where they just tell you the claim again, even though they debunked their own claim one sentence before. So I don't think that that guy knows the full context there, because there's actually a link there which explains a whole lot more about what question is actually being asked. So the question that's really being asked here is, if Northern Hemisphere compass points to a magnetic north, and the same compass is brought to the Southern Hemisphere, will the painted red north compass needle be drawn to the magnetic south pole? And the answer of course is no. In the Southern Hemisphere, the same red painted end of the compass will still point to the North Magnetic Pole. It's literally just someone asking, hey, in the Southern Hemisphere, where does the red needle on the compass point? And the response that the person is giving is, North! It points North! So this would have to be the biggest example of cherry picking I have ever seen. That's twice now in the single video alone, where he's used small snippets of something which is really out of context to try and prove a point. You see, I can do that kind of thing too. It's really easy, look. Here's what I do with these morons, because they refuse to fucking listen and refuse to fucking uh, do anything. It's, it's fucking embarrassing. I don't even know how to block somebody on this shit, but I'll do it on my phone later. Guy's a fucking retard. See, that guy just blocks anyone who disagrees with him, and he called him a retard without even knowing how to block him on his computer. What an idiot. Now, I don't think that that guy blocks everyone who disagrees with him. I don't think he's blocked Fight the Flat Earth. But I was just giving an example of cherry picking. So just to touch back on a point about the red part of the compass needle pointing at the magnetic north pole in the southern hemisphere. I wonder if that guy has ever heard of the concept of non-Euclidean geometry. So let's say that I'm the only thing on this perfect sphere and I point in a certain direction. What am I actually pointing at? A person like that guy might say, well, you're pointing into nothingness. Another person might say, well, actually, you're pointing at yourself. And the reason why someone might say, oh, you're pointing at yourself, is because if I were to walk in the direction that I pointed, I'd eventually just end up in the same place. So when someone says that a compass is pointing at the North Pole in the Southern Hemisphere, they're not actually saying that it's pointing directly at the North Pole. We're saying that if you were to walk in the direction that it's pointing, you would eventually reach the North Pole. Also, pointing out the way in which something is said by some random user on the internet is a really bad way to try and prove a point. Meanwhile, at Nasir. What's this? Some random dude on the internet said something? And it contradicts the globe Earth model? We need to take this out immediately. We need to send in all the assets. We've got a code red here! But there was a part of that guy's video which I did agree with that guy on. Let's take a look. Look and comprehend what this demonstration is showing. And I couldn't agree more with that guy on that point. Problem is, is that he isn't comprehending what the demonstration is actually showing, so. Now, I will leave a link to the original video in the description. But that video is 16 minutes long and does repeat a lot of the same points time and time again. So it's up to you whether you want to watch it. Also, that guy, didn't you have a message for anyone that's going to your channel? Anybody who goes to this guy's channel, post this video on his channel to just show him how fucking retarded he is. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Do you not even want to be associated with yourself? But in all seriousness, that guy, if you are watching, let's have a discussion about this. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. The Sun Express, What Jesus, Fight the Flat Earth, Holmes, Huge Ass, MC Nutkin, Robert Legier 3, Wolfie, Stringer News 1, Ash Panash, Curtis Reynolds, Curvy New Yorker, Leo Banks, One True Chaos, and Sisyphus. I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. What's this? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>